here, which is uh, presented by Asi Art Gallery LA. And uh, thank you very much for having me here. I'm Vladimir Derkach, an art historian from uh, Moscow Art Academy. I'd like to share with you my understanding of what the beauty is and how Artur Karapetian is shown us on his painting. So let's take a look on this painting, for example, which definitely characterizes his education. First of all, it's traditional. And secondly, he is always in search of new ideas. Let's take a look, for example, on this left upper corner as we are having, most of us have an European education, so we are writing and reading from left to right and from um, up down. So in this case, we're reading this painting like that, and every time we're trying to go uh, squeeze ourselves uh, to the right, we hit some interesting subject here, like a portrait of this woman, for example. Even if we go down, and this redirects us by this belt, by this line, towards in the center, usually every artist puts something most interesting thing in the center, or something, but most elaborately dull in the center. So we're going up the sleeve, then the hand redirects us in the center, then we see this beautifully painted face. We won't stay here for long because it's uh, done very meticulously and very lightly, so it's not very contrastly done. So we're going up, then moving up uh, towards uh, this edge of the painting and then again dropping down because we're having here another face, which is brightly like as a searchlight um, shining in the painting. So we're going down here, then the belt is redirected again. Here you can go up or down, it just depends on you. And when I go just because of that traditional things where nothing to see on the left hand side, we have a signature here, which is very important. Then we go up again and then we continue, endlessly continue, continue and continue. This is a very interesting way because the artist works with um, the human being, with the body. Not many artists today do that. And let's take a look at landscape, for example. Also, he's another one who created his land, uh, landscape with a multi-layer using a lot of pellet knife. For those who doesn't know what is a pellet knife, it's really like a knife, but a very flexible one where you put your paint instead of brush with the pellet knife on the surface. And from the distance or from the uh, side, from different angle, you can see not only the subject, like bright skies, for example, but also the light of uh, the paint of colors itself. And if you just take a piece of it and you frame it, it's already a little bit like a masterpiece or maybe just like jewelry. Uh, here we have just a subject. Yes, it's bright sunny day with kind of road going around the rolling hills over there. Some um, on the background we have uh, silhouettes of the mountains with a perspective covered in uh, pretty bright blue air, I would say. This is air perspective as artists call it. And for the contrast, the front uh, masses of trees, of brushes, of bushes here, they are made very, very roughly. So the, every brush stroke, if the brush was used, is very bold. If an uh, artist used a uh, pellet knife, he also puts a lot of paint in it. So altogether, com compose, uh, compositionally, is done very, very perfectly also. Again, if we'll start to read from left to right, then we have in the center which attracts us down, then the road was redirect us to the center of the painting and then again we just keep going through the line, maybe going up as a stock market sometimes does, then dropping down and we have the signature. Very important, please dear artist, if you just start to paint or if you already establish painters, please put your signature always in the corner here on the left or on the right. It will ease the work of uh, art historian in the future. Thank you.